I was thinking that was like really like honoring was like having it carried on because obviously it did something mm. and it helped and then to have it like change like our like organization constitution. Yeah. So it's like gonna be continued in that way. I just was it was exciting. I mean, it was I, really exciting. It was really gratifying. Yeah. Um like I just feel like and that wasn't even that much. And I just want to continue that kind of work. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but for some reason that story makes me feel presidential. That's the only word that comes. Because I say constitution, probably. Maybe. <laughs> we have, like, each, like, organization at school has, like, a constitution. Okay. So they can be, like, considered a real organization. You have to, like, turn it into, like, the dean and stuff. Right, like right, right, right. I've seen college frat movies. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like that, but, yeah, and it's like that. Uh, it's kind of like that, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's so cool. And you're implementing it. Wow. I know. Dang. And so also I love kids and I can like, like working, I feel like I can just as easily as I made that a pop culture reference, I feel like I could like, there's ways you can engage children in that kind of like learning. Mm -hmm. And like, obviously like younger minds, like you don't need to introduce all like, well, here, here's your thought patterns. I don't know. But like, there's like. I just feel like for them it can be just so easy to like shape their minds to like better to take better care of themselves and advocate for themselves yeah. and like better understand themselves. Because I feel like another thing that has made mental health so hard in our like current day, especially like in the youth, is like the way that like adults have like taught us and like or like talked to us. So it's like like I said, like we're taught go to college, get your career after. And a lot of my friends are being so hard on themselves because they're like, oh, my God, I, should, I don't have this, this and that lined up. And I'm like, you're 21. Or, like, I didn't do this. And I'm like, and it's just, like, it's just so easy. And, like, people just have so much pressure on themselves. Or, like, in high school when it was, like, you need to be this, you need to do that. This is where, this is what's correct for you. And, like, or, like, even when you're a kid in the way, like, like, teachers speak to you and like have expectations of you and sometimes it's not always the most fair thing right. and it's just like if you teach a child like you know speak up about yourself or speak up for yourself talk about your feelings or like understand your feelings yeah how does this make you feel it's just like yeah. especially like with curious minds like it just could do a lot of good mm. and yeah yeah oh my goodness Wow. Did you, like, how did you celebrate that? My. Your achievement of, like, um, of, like, enriching everybody's life. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I was just happy about it. I didn't really, because, like, nothing happened to me after that. It was, like, only a semester-long position, so, like, uh, yeah. I mean, like, the only, like, I guess celebrating it is, like, whenever people would come up and tell me, like, you make me feel so good about myself or this was great and like you're the greatest hype woman and just things like that was celebratory enough like hearing that I actually made considerable like change yeah is a rewarding enough for me and that's why I like like I'm excited for that kind of work because like thinking about like where I was when I started therapy and who I am now like I was like just to be honest, like, I was, like, pretty broken and in a dark place. And I just was, like, whatever, I don't want to do this. And just to see what she has done for me yeah. in such a, like, a short amount of time and how it's changed my life and my mindset. And obviously, I don't, not everything's up. And that's what I taught him, too. I was, like, also, whenever things get better, they're not going to, like, you know, life is going to be like this. And so, like, yeah. you can't, like, you just have to learn how to navigate when you're, like, in your valleys, you know, and it's going to happen and it's okay. But just like that, like, not everything is, like, what's it called? A catastrophe anymore. Not everything's, like, hopeless. Not everything. Mm. And I just am better, like, navigating my feelings. I'm less hard on myself and things like that. Like, just knowing that she did that for me, I just, I'm so thankful to her. And she continues to help me. And that's 
really cool. Yeah. And so like, just knowing that I could do that for someone else and in a way I was like slightly helpful to others, like, it's just is exciting. Yeah. And like sometimes I get scared because there's like the... Like, there's a hard days. I know I've given her hard days. You know, I've given her trouble. I'm like, well, I don't believe you when you say that. Or, like, well, what about this? And I'm always like, what about, like, almost, like, playing devil's advocate for my, like, harsh feelings? Mm -hmm. And I know there's going to be, like, days like that or people who don't exactly want to help themselves. Or, you know, like, for me, it took a long time for me. To, like, it wasn't just, like, a month. And I was, like, you know, like, just so happy. Like, it took, like, years. And then, like, for me to, like, actually, like, like, a brain doesn't change overnight. I mean, it could, but no. Typically, with those kinds of processes, depending on, like, how your life is going, it takes time. And so, like, that's something I'm, like, nervous about because, like, I almost feel like I could be hard on myself if I don't see change right away. But that's something I need to learn. And that's, like, another thing is a lot of people are, like, you're really empathetic. And they're, like, worried. Because I could see myself, like, crying in a room with someone telling me this personal story and they're crying mm. that's something i need to like and i can't take their like problems home with me mm. and that's something i'm a little nervous about for the work but i'm trying to go and understand like that's part of it there's also like the exciting parts or like the gratifying parts and it all is part of the job and that's also like something you'll practice as you get trained yeah exactly so that's why i'm like telling myself as well um Especially, like, it was helpful having, like, because, like, I was saying about the courses, like, they t t talk to us about, like, the bad. And they're, like, when you go to school, you'll learn more. And, like, if I'm, like, with, like, people who are actually, like, with me training, like, and I'll have people on my side, I can ask them questions. Well, what if someone's like this? What if I can't help in this way? Like, yeah. I'll have mentors. And so it's not going to be all that bad, yeah. you know? And there's, like, life's always going to have challenges. So it's going to be okay. And, and you'll probably have... At least I know a few therapists who have, like, a group of therapists that they... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. my therapist has, like, the office. Oh, like, yeah. And she's, like, she doesn't special... Like, one time, like, she was, like, I'm going to ask her... Like, her friend was a dietitian. And, like, or, like, she was, like, going to ask her, like, substance abuse counselor about things. And it's just, like, like, having those resources, too. Especially, like, if you're just in that, like, bubble yeah. mental health specialist. Like, I'm not alone, you know? Yeah. And so, like, that's good. That's good. Um, I was going to say something else. Just, like, well, then there, there's that, that exciting part. And then just, like, me also going to school, and not specifically for, like, counseling, but, like I said, social work and, like, learning about, like, my whole goal is to, like, apply, like, mental health to, with a social context. And so... I feel like that's also, like, where a lot of people might lack, you know? Yeah. I'm not, like, I'm not talking on therapists, but I'm just saying in general, when people are, like, coming to, like, trying to empathize with others, and they, but you don't really know, like, exactly what they're going through. Not that I'm going to know exactly what someone's going through, but just, like, just having that understanding yeah. is going to be very, like, imperative. Yeah. 